uh, Juve, Juventus, your old club, Liam, uh, against Real Madrid, first game in uh, Turin. Um, the result Juve, Juventus got against Spurs at Wembley was extraordinary, really. I mean, Spurs took the lead. Uh, Juventus in the first match had looked tired uh, really even Chiellini Buffon they looked you know wonderful players who just had played maybe uh, longer than they should have but they came back uh, in the most uh, remarkable way to win that match uh, 2-1 they're playing Real Madrid Real Madrid against um, PSG was the most impressive performance I'm, I saw, Liam, in the Champions League this year by anybody. It was really clinical, both home and away. Yeah, well, I watched both games as well. I thought the home game was a little bit closer. I thought PSG had good chances um, uh, and didn't take them. But, uh, you know, it was very impressive for Real Madrid to go to Paris and do what they did. I think they got a little bit of help with the sending off, um, but uh, sending off for PSG that is. Yeah. But uh, Real Madrid, you know, watching them uh, this season, it looks like uh, that they got so far behind in the league that they kind of said, well, let's forget about that and let's get ourselves ready for uh, the tail end of the Champions League. Let's make sure that we're, you know, in the best form we could possibly be. And it looks like they are, and it looks like. Uh, the players that we know so well, uh, Cruz and uh, and Modric, uh, Casimiro, Ronaldo, uh, they're all coming onto you know the into 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 to the form that we know they can they can do, and yeah, they're uh, certainly they're certainly you know a huge player in this. Uh, you would make them favourites against Juventus, but I think we did the match for RTE. The first leg, Tottenham Juventus, and although Tottenham were very impressive, I think both of us did say you can never write the Italians off, and no. you can't, you know, no, no, no. Uh, because they, they they seem to pull it out, especially when uh, they're written off. You know, Buffon was great at Wembley, wasn't he? Chiellini was yeah. brilliant at Wembley, uh, and they did have Young Dybala that they didn't have in the first leg, yeah. and uh, he's he 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 pulls the strings and he makes chances for Higuain. And he got a great goal himself. So, I think it's. Uh, I think you know, if you're a, a bookie, you'd make probably Real Madrid six to four to go through. But it's close, Eamon. Okay. I mean, interestingly, in Paris, in the second leg, he left Modric out, he left Cruz out, and he left uh, Gareth Bale. This is Zidane, and he played Asensio, uh, uh, Isco. Um, and uh, Carvajal, the right back, is a very, very, very good player, Liam. Uh, and of course, P PSG were without Neymar. But um, they, these young guys, stepped up to the plate in a way I must say that shocked me. Um, Asensio, in particular, Vasquez came on and played. These are guys we haven't even heard of, but they, they played with a sort of shape and a purpose in that match that was really very, very. Um, impressive and I, I would say if they don't draw each other it's going to be a Barca-Real Madrid final I think which would be completely fascinating 